Today, I'm going to share with you some dupes. These are not affordable alternatives. These are actually dupes. And the cool thing is several of these things are holy grails of mine that I have found a much more affordable option that is literally identical. I'm wearing the dupes and the expensive holy grail versions on my face today. This side is the dupes side and this side is the holy grail side. And honestly, when I was using it today, I could not tell the difference. All right, we're gonna start out with mascara because I have been sharing about Thrive Mascara for years and years, particularly the brown mascara from Thrive. It is my favorite. It. It's a tubing mascara and it is just a gorgeous mascara. Brown tubing mascara, a good brown tubing mascara like Thrive is really hard to find. I mean, I have looked and they do exist, but usually at least every single one that I've tried hasn't knocked my socks off, hasn't been that great until this one from e.l.f. You guys, this is so good. This is the Lash Extender. It comes in brown. It comes in three colors. I think it comes in like a soft black, a very, very black, and then it comes in brown. That is where this is so similar to the Thrive. So this is a brown tubing mascara and it is 0.25 ounces. Thrive is 0.38, so you get a little bit more product with the Thrive. They remove the same. Not all tubing mascaras remove in tubes. Some of them remove like in flakes with a bunch of water. This removes in tubes just like the Thrive. This is $7. Thrive is somewhere in the mid 20s, $25, somewhere like that. I've used this for so long that honestly, I do not care about the $25 because I love it so much. But now that I know I can get the e.l.f. for $7, I can't say that I'm gonna quit my Thrive forever, but dang, this is definitely a great option and something that I know I will have around because at seven bucks, that is completely, I mean, you can get what, three and a half of these before you buy one single Thrive. So an incredible alternative and clearly in my my opinion they were going for dupe and they did a really really good job now the other thing that I wanted to mention is I have been using this little lash comb and if you are somebody who has used thrive or any mascara and you have thought that it was clumpy or that it looked a little you know anything like that try getting a I will link this one but I think I got this one in a set of different like you know little tools and it was under ten dollars but you can comb through your lashes before they set to get get a really, you know, perfect fanned out lashes. So definitely don't, um, if you love a mascara, but you don't quite love the way that it might get clumpy as you build it up, just get yourself a lash comb. Okay, so the next one we're gonna talk about is from Color Science. This is the Total Eye. I have been using this forever. This is an under eye corrector slash concealer slash SPF. So it looks like this, and I have been asked, you guys, honestly, for years if I could find a dupe for this, and there really wasn't anything, in my opinion, that really rivaled this. This is such a holy grail product. It is $79, it is 0.23 ounces, but it lasts for a really, really long time. So I could justify this because literally one of these would be my entire year. Like I didn't need to buy more than one. You depress it and you put a few dots and then you just blend it in. You can use a concealer over it if you want to, but I always found that it just kind of color corrected. It had a lot of peach in it. And so it kind of color corrected, brightened and protected my under eyes. It is a mineral SPF, did not bother my eyes at all. Just holy grail status. So Dermatology came out with a version that is very, very similar. Now the Color Science has four color options and Dermatology came out with four color options. Now I have fair, medium, and I have the tan. And I will tell you that the medium is very similar to the Color Science medium. I'm gonna show you swatches and the tan is actually really, really good if my circles look super dark, even though the tan is way darker than my skin. But you wanna remember that when you have dark circles, you wanna match the depth of the darkness of the circles, not try to match your face, or else you can kinda of make the under eye circles look a little bit gray. So you always wanna go as dark as the circle in a peachy, orangey, salmony kind of color. So I actually am wearing the tan today 
just on my darkness and then I went over with my foundation over both the color sciences on one side, the dermatology is on the other side. And then I went over my face with foundation and I literally cannot tell the difference. I will say that the dermatology is a slightly less emollient and that is a really good thing. That would be one of my only complaints of the color science is that sometimes it made me look a little dewy or shiny and that can draw attention to hollowness sometimes. Like if there's a little bit of a shine off of the area, we definitely want to have some hydration in the area so you don't look craggly or anything like that, but we don't really want shine there. And I did find that sometimes with the color science. With the dermatology, it's a little less emollient in a very good way, but it does not in any way dry out my under eyes. And the dermatology is $44 for 0.25 ounces. So you get a little tiny bit more product for almost half the cost. Dermatology is actually a mineral protection also. So it is the zinc oxide plus titanium dioxide, 12% zinc, 10% titanium dioxide. So it's gonna protect you against the UVA rays as well as UVB rays. And it is an SPF of 41, whereas the color science is an SPF of 35. So they don't stack up quite there either. The dermatology wins out there. It has snow mushroom in there. It has watermelon, it has apple. Those are things that are really great alongside SPF for protection, for antioxidant protection, also for um, aiding in the hydration of that area. I'm gonna show you some swatches. The top swatch is the tan from dermatology. The middle swatch is the color science in medium and the bottom swatch is the dermatology in medium. So you can see how the mediums between the color science and the dermatology are very similar, but I'm telling you, I'm wearing the tan on one side of my face today because the darkness under my eyes looked pretty strong today, and that canceled out that darkness without looking that tan, because clearly my face is not that color at all. And I went over my face with my RMS. This is foundation that I wear all the time. I wear it all the time, I wear it in videos all the time. I get asked about what I am wearing on my face. Cream makeup is where it's at, you guys. If you have mature skin, if you have dry skin, if you want something that's going to not settle into fine lines, that is going to look luminous and dewy without looking greasy, this RMS Uncover is beautiful. I absolutely love it. I'm a fan of this brand anyway, but this is what I am wearing very sparingly all over. I even put a little bit on my neck because I get very red these days from sitting in the sauna. I stay red for a long time after I get out of the sauna. So I've been trying to remember to put this a little bit just to kind of conceal on my neck as well. These little pots are deceiving. They look like they're going to run out like tomorrow and they last forever. It takes me a really long time to get through this. So I put this on over and once I did that, you cannot tell, at least I don't think you can tell, the difference between my two under eyes, between the color science and between the dermatology. Although I do think that the dermatology side looks a little bit more blurred because it's not quite as dewy as the color science side. So that is an amazing dupe if you ask me. If you are somebody who likes the Drunk Elephant Debronzy Bronzing Drops, these are kind of like a highlighty bronzing drop. They are something that you could put all over. You can mix them into your foundation. You could put them on just areas that you want to get a little bronzing, a little highlighting. These are really, really beautiful. They are not inexpensive. I want to say they're like $38. I think they're $38 and you get one single ounce. Well, Pacifica just came out with their version because they look almost identical. They feel identical. Again, I have the Pacifica on one side and I have the Drunk Elephant on the other side, kind of in this area and can't tell the difference. I will say that the Pacifica looks a little less orange, which is actually a huge plus. It also contains some really skin loving, wonderful ingredients like cockadoo plum, vitamin C, and I just think this is a beautiful, beautiful dupe. Now the Pacifica is $16 for that one ounce and the Drunk Elephant is $38 for that one ounce. I tested them both and there is, it is an incredible, they're, they are the same, only the Pacifica is a little bit better of a tone. Okay, so the Pacifica is on the top and the Drunk Elephant is on the bottom. Do you see what I mean about the Pacifica's tone? It's just a little bit more neutral and pretty bronzy and the Drunk Elephant just looks a little bit more orangey, 
literally like orangey coppery almost whereas the Pacifica looks like that beautiful kind of neutral bronze color and again it is about $22 less for the same amount of product they are the same thing you guys if you are somebody who likes the Chanel this is the Le Beige they are they look like there's those little beads if you like the Jane Iredale or even the one from Rose Ink if you like those kind of sort of like serum, sheer, sheer, sheer products like that. They're very sheer. They almost don't have any coverage. They just get a little bit of a color to them. I actually ordered and it just is taking forever because we have had crazy snowy weather here. So it got delayed. The cover girl, the new, I think it's simply age, ageless. Anyway, the reviews sound like they are very, very similar. So it was supposed to be in my video today, but the product hasn't shown up, but I am going to list it down below in case you're somebody who loves this and you haven't heard about the CoverGirl product because it's literally like a quarter of the cost of the Chanel or a third of the cost of the Chanel. And I have really high hopes for that dupe. I think it's going to be a really good comparison when it does arrive. I'll do a split face and I'll put it over on Instagram and share any thoughts or anything like that but I wanted to share with you the potential here because that is a potential to be a really really good dupe and if the mail was on time I'd be sharing it in this video like side by side I hope you enjoyed this little installment of dupes like I said not affordable alternatives actual dupes let me know if you have found any really fun dupes recently I hope you are having a really wonderful day and I'll talk to you in my next skincare video take care